Okay, so now you can see that I have my hand colored folder with all the colors that I used for each part. They're all labeled. And one thing I forgot to mention is that when you're doing the hand colored, you need to make your original a black and white version. That way, the colors that you choose will be true colors. So now, your layers should look like this. You have your original, your corrected, your black and white, your sepia, your hand colored folder, and then you're going to mess with these last three. For these, what I want you to do is to go into image and adjustments and just play around with the rest of these adjustments to see what they do. Click on each one individually and just find out what they do. Some of them will do similar things to what you have seen from other adjustments. In Photoshop, there are several ways to get to do the same things over and over and over again. I'm going to undo that doing Command Z. Go ahead and try another one. Hue and saturation. Hue obviously changes the color. Could have a purple one. And I'll undo that again. And I'm just going to keep doing this until I've done it with all of my adjustments. Just playing around and seeing what each adjustment does. I'm going to do this until I find one that I actually like for whatever reason. I think this is cool. This bright magenta it really pulls out the highlights and I think it's fun. So I'm going to click OK. And that was color balance. So I'm going to rename this folder or this layer color balance so I know what adjustment I used. And I'll move on to the next one and keep playing with these adjustments until I've gone through all of them.